So I have been inspired by the Urban Fringe to, um, dispensaries uh, reviews during February of their favourite books and so I thought I would do mine. So my top three herbal books for beginners and here they are. Um, so first one that I would recommend is The Handmade Apothecary by Vicky Chown and Kim Walker. Now this book is an all-round sort of book. Um, it covers recipes and foraging and how to find plants and what plants to use and it's got um, um, information about um, a small range of plants um, but it's got beautiful photos um, and lovely easy to make recipes at home and it really is my top book that I would recommend to anyone wanting to get into herbal medicine and try things at home. It's really, really, really uh, usable and just really lovely. Um, the great thing is um, Vicky and Kim are both medical herbalists um, and it's always great to recommend um, people that I know from various places um, if they've written a book and I do and I would recommend them. So uh, this one is lovely. I think it's about £15 um, so it's not expensive. It's a lovely hardback book. You will end up using every single recipe in it several times um, so it really is one that I, that I would recommend. Um, for people to um, to get. It's really lovely. So, second book that I would recommend is Hedgerow Medicine. Um, now, this one is probably going to be uh, make a bit more sense if you're in the UK, but, um, or certainly Northern Europe, but if you are in the US, I have a feeling that um, there is uh, a US version with the equivalent plants in and I have a feeling it might be called Backyard Medicine um, but do have a look on their website and you'll be able to find it. Um, so this is by Julie and Matthew Bruton Seal and they're based in the UK um, and they um, just have some really really lovely recipes in there and traditional information about little known plants or plants that used to know a lot about and now sadly have become forgotten. Um, it is uh, quite a large book so maybe not necessarily one that you will just pop in your bag if you're out foraging but it, I mean you could, it just has some really fantastic information um, and recipes in it and it's just a really lovely book to have um, so it's one that I would recommend. Now this one is slightly a bit more intermediate uh, level and it's this is The Holistic Herbal by David Hoffman. Now David Hoffman has lots of different versions of this book um, and they're all great and um, this just happens to be the one that I have um, and it goes a little bit beyond um, the standard plants that you would come across so it's got a really good um, direct um, materia medica or directory of um, plants in here all of their uses where they're found how you use them their actions and indications so it goes beyond really the kitchen herbalist if you want to start to be treating family and friends and you think oh so and so has got um, rheumatoid arthritis I wonder if there's something a herb that I could look up for them then this would be the book that you'll probably look at rather than the more um, beginners books which I just showed you uh, so it it is a bit more advanced uh, that said it's still really easy to use and I would recommend it to all of my students um, to, to have again not expensive at all you can get second-hand versions of this on um, Amazon or second-hand books shops for a couple of pounds. Uh, it, it's really, really not expensive um, and that's because uh, there have been quite a few um, uh, reprints of it and so you can get earlier versions usually pretty cheap. Um, so it's definitely one that I would that I would recommend. And if you have any books that you would recommend, pop them in the comments, that would be great. I have a massive library of books and so we'll probably be doing many more of these videos. <laughs> um, so do look out for those. Great, thank you, bye.